Yo, how's it going everyone? Cinny here telling you everything you need to know to get started prospecting in The Cycle Frontier. The Cycle Frontier is a player versus player versus environment survival game. You play as a prospector aboard a space station orbiting the planet of Fortuna Free, a deadly planet where everything is out to get you. The same planet that you'll be dropping into in search of fame and fortune while fighting against just about everything to survive, from aliens to players, even the weather's out to get you if you're not careful. The game mode is very simple, you get in and you get out. After dropping in, I recommend that you check your map straight away and you look for your two extraction points marked in red. These will be different each raid and every team has a different extraction. Choose one and plan your route which best fits your current objectives. Remember, your loot isn't safe until you're aboard the ship and those doors are firmly shut. Alright, let's get questing and looting. Press G to bring up your quests. Make sure you read the descriptions carefully. They give big clues on how to complete them. But don't worry if you're still having a little bit of trouble. Your boy Sinny's got videos to help. But what happens if you die? You get foamed! Then you're brought back to the station for defoaming. Without your gear, obviously, that's all left on the planet. But you do get to keep what is in your safe pocket. Very important to remember that. Okay, press tab to have a look at your stash. This is your stash on the left. These are the things that are secure and kept at the station. This is your loadout on the right. This is what you'll be taking down to the planet with you. Choose wisely as if you get foamed, you won't be bringing it back. Double click your stash and items will transfer over to your loadout and right click items from your stash in order to put them into your backpack. You can actually fit more than three things in your safe pocket because both your backpack and your safe pocket works on weight, meaning they will expand if you have more weight available. Every item has a different weight, which you can see bottom right of the icon. Make sure you grab yourself a small backpack and a weapon of choice. All the items in the game have different colors for rarity. You've got gray, green, blue, purple, pink, and gold. As for all of your ammo, there's icons to indicate what ammo types go with what guns. Let's look at meds. There's two different kinds, stims and medkits. Stims are much quicker and heal a smaller portion of your health. Med kits take longer to use but heal the entirety of your health and weigh a lot more. For this reason, I recommend using stims. When you're getting started, as for maps, stick to Bright Sand. It's the easier map and all your quests and jobs are on it, so it's a no-brainer. Okay, let's drop in. But first... Insurance. There's two different kinds of insurances, Aurum and k -marks. Check out my other video for an in-depth guide on how insurances work, but for now, I recommend insuring your gear with K-Marks. On Fortuna 3, you will encounter creatures, striders, rattlers, marauders, who's the legendary Jet. There's a few different ways to tackle these creatures. You can literally just run past them, you can find high ground to escape them, or you can fight them. Just be careful if you plan on taking on a Jeff anytime soon. If you stay in long enough, the storm is going to roll in and no pilot wants to fly in a storm, so look out for those rain clouds. Different kinds of loot can spawn all over the map, so pay attention what you pick up and where. There are three different factions in this game, Korolev, Osiris and the ICA. All can be found in the station. Each faction unlocks and offers unique weapons and perks. Make sure you're doing your quests. Jobs are repeatable missions that give you cash and experience towards that faction. Now, you've got all this loot. Who are you going to sell it to? Selling is another way of gaining extra faction experience. I recommend choosing one faction at a time to sell your items to. Check out my in-depth faction guide. Take a look at the craft menu and take a note of any materials that you might need. You get an option to speed this up with Aurum or K-Marks if you're in a bit of a rush. At the top is your repair tab for when your armor's getting a little worse for wear. Let's take a look at the quarters. This is where you'll redeem any insurance as well as daily supply crates and K-Marks and Aurum generated. To increase these, you can upgrade them as well as your total stash size and your safe pocket size. You can see what it will cost for each upgrade as you go and you can only upgrade one at a time. Your quarters also has its own level which can be upgraded and this can be done simultaneously as any other upgrade. The time it takes to finish the upgrade increases the further down the tree you go but this can be reduced by upgrading your workbench. Like the crafting you can also spend your hard earned K marks on Aurum to finish the upgrade. Currently the generator is the only way of getting Aurum in the game and at a much slower rate than K marks 
so I recommend getting this upgrade as quickly as possible. Now you know what awaits you. Make sure you check out my content if you want to become the biggest, baddest, shaddiest prospector on Fortuna Free. I cover everything you need to know from how to make money to best gear to bring in or how to 1v3 and get better at PvP. Remember this game is currently still in beta so all of this is subject to change but I'll be ready to give you the latest updates if and when it does so stay tuned. Thanks for watching everyone don't forget to like and subscribe I'll be putting out tons of the cycle content so stay tuned and I will see you in the Defoma. Thanks for watching.